In the 90s, Episkin, a L'Oréal subsidiary, began studying and reconstructing that amazing organ, human skin, to understand it better and eliminate animal testing. Based on fragments of skin recovered from plastic surgery, they start by separating the dermis from the epidermis. Then, they extract keratinocytes, which are seeded in a culture medium. Episkin produces each week a large variety of reconstructed tissue, such as epidermis, various epithelia, and a full thickness model named T-skin, including both epidermis and dermal substitute. The goal of the migration test is to observe the capacity of actives to improve the skin regeneration through a wound healing-like process based on the T-skin technology. During the production step, the keratinocytes are seeded on the outer part of a stopper ring. After six days of culture, rings are removed. This leads to a non-epithelialized zone in the inner part of the model. This migration test is designed to evaluate actives by systemic way or by topical application. Systemic treatments start at day 10 and are performed several times until day 20. Culture medium is also changed over the same period. The medium in contact with samples can also be stored to evaluate the solute mediator and the complete analysis. Actives can also be evaluated through topical application. In this case, they are applied every working day on the whole tissue surface. A nylon disc is added to guarantee an homogeneous spread. After a defined contact time, the tissue is carefully rinsed with a physiological solution. During these 10 days of treatment, an OCT acquisition is realized every working day. OCT is a non-invasive medical imaging technique which allows to follow the evolution of the same tissues over time. Thanks to this technology, we quantify the epidermal thickness of the whole tissue and its progression from the first day to the last one. A dedicated software provides us the thickness of newly formed epidermis in green dermal thickness in blue and percentage of pore closure. During this segmentation step, a manual correction of each picture can be applied. Final check and validation are also performed. Graphs provide a visualization of the evolution of the epidermal thickness over time. With the different images representing a view of the skin surface, we can follow the pore closure. It is possible to observe here, in parallel, an untreated tissue compared to our positive reference. We clearly observed that the pore closure kinetic of the tissue treated with our positive reference occurs on day 15, while the closure of the untreated tissue happens on day 17. At last, the effects of each active are analyzed with both closure kinetic, epidermal thickness and histological tissue quality.